Welcome back to the Tech Table. In this continuing series on setting up hardware for Premiere Pro CS6, we're featuring in this video products from Blackmagic and all the different things that you need to know for drivers, install order techniques, common setup issues, and a complete walkthrough of how to get all this done. And you guys have got to be real familiar with products from Blackmagic. They've been around a long time and they fill a number of niches. Great products like the whole line of Decklink Extreme cards, Decklink 3D, Decklink 4K, and uh, even their smaller products like their little intensity cards, which a lot of Premiere Pro users uh, have been using. They were also one of the first to bring us Thunderbolt connectivity with their Ultra Studio 3D, not to mention a lot of multi-bridge products that are out there. So let's go ahead and jump into this video and check it out. With the Blackmagic Design uh, hardware setup for Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your preferences for the system and open the Blackmagic Design Preference Panel. You're going to want to set where your output is going to, what SDI, HDMI component, there's a few choices here. And then you're also going to want to make sure that you have the right setting on the Use 1080p, Not 1080p SF checkbox. If you are using an older monitor, there's a good chance that it doesn't take true 1080p progressive signals. If you're using a newer one, then you want to check your manual and see if it does take true uh, progressive signals. If it does, you can check this box and the Blackmagic hardware will be sending out a true 1080p progressive signal. The other settings in here are um, user preference and also more advanced, so look at the Blackmagic documentation to see if there are other settings in here that you want to change. None of these actually affect the, uh, the output, the interaction between Premiere Pro and Blackmagic hardware. The other thing that you're going to want to check while you're in the preferences is your audio settings under the sound preference. And for output, you're going to want to select whatever option you have that your system sound is going to go out as. You don't want to select Blackmagic Audio unless you want your system sound, for example, uh, alarm, alarm sounds, um, any kind of sound that is controlled by the volume controls for the system. Selecting Blackmagic for that can have uh, adverse effects for what goes out if you don't want Chime from your email to show up in your output while you're using Transmit. Same thing for input, you want to make sure that you use something other than the Blackmagic Audio for input. Once you have those settings set, you can go into Premiere and you're going to want to go to Premiere Pro Preferences Playback. And under Playback, you have uh, two options that you need to set for Adobe Mercury Transmit to use the Blackmagic hardware. Under Video Devices, you want to check Blackmagic Playback. You don't want to have any of the other ones checked. And then under Audio Device, you want to check Blackmagic Playback here as well. And these are really the main settings for Premiere Pro's Mercury Transmit Engine to use the Blackmagic hardware. The other settings and under Preferences are superseded by these preferences. So even though under Audio Hardware, you may see Blackmagic Audio settings here, you don't need to set those. You probably don't want to set those. You just want to leave it at system default or one of the other settings if that's it fits with your system configuration. Once you've set those settings, you are actually ready to go from Premiere out through your Blackmagic hardware to your monitoring devices. Um, one thing to note about new Mercury Transmit in Premiere Pro CS6 is that sequences are no longer the vehicle for enabling Transmit out to your monitor. So in past versions of Adobe Premiere Pro, you have needed to actually go to the sequence for Blackmagic and select one of Blackmagic's sequences in order for Transmit to work. That's no longer true. You can now use any of the sequences that Premiere Pro supports to go out through Blackmagic hardware. You do need to check that your Blackmagic hardware supports the formats that you are going to be using, but there's no limitation on what sequence you can use as far as Adobe Mercury Transmit is concerned. The one benefit to using a Blackmagic Design sequence preset is that it is already set up for you to use specific Blackmagic codecs. This is something that is just an ease of use. You can always create a custom preset and select those codecs once Blackmagic drivers are installed. 